Should the Rockets take the best deal on the table for Harden right now? They shouldn't take the best deal that's on the table. But James Harden has made it abundantly clear. We had heard reports and guys reporting, insiders have been reporting that James Harden wants to be traded, and he's made it clear. This was the very first time publicly that James Harden made it abundantly clear, I want to be out. Skip James Harden's not even trying. He's not even pretending that he's playing hard. First of all, the way he showed up, the way he showed up late to camp, and then he showed up out of shape. Now, James Harden, with that body that you see, can drop 40, but he needs to drop 25, as in pounds. I agree. Skip, he doesn't even care. He's not even trying. He's not even pretending. This is the longest streak of 20 or under point games James Harden has had since 2011, 2012. When he was with with OKC. He was the sixth man. Skip, think about this. His first game back after being away from camp, he drops 44 and 17 at the blink of an eye. And then he follows that up with another hot 30 point game. So we know James Harden. Even in the condition that he's in, if he wants to, he can drop 30 on anybody every night. We've seen James Harden shoot 20 plus free, get 20 points in free throws. Mm-hmm. And now he's just milling around. Yep. Hey, you take it, John. Well, hey, I pass it to you. I, I, I'm just going to be standing over here. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to make it so uncomfortable for everybody yep. that you're going to have no choice. But, Skip, the thing is, is that while he's made it abundantly clear to the uh, Rockets he wants out, he's killing the value in which they can get to it because teams just sitting back like, Woo. <laughs> okay, that's another pick I get to keep in my pocket. That's another pick I get to keep. That's a solid player I get to keep on my roster that I'm not going to give up. The problem that, he, that they have, Skip, is that James Harden is under contract, but not this just this year. Yep. He has two more years on his deal. So theoretically, no, Skip, we can, we can play hardball. Skip, I believe if James Harden says, you know what, has a team meeting, they can be a player. You can't tell me that Christian Woods isn't better than Clint Capella. And John Wall is comparable to what Russell Westbrook. I agree. The only difference is, is that James Harden is uninterested currently yeah. in being in Houston. Mm-hmm. And he's giving, Skip, I'm not saying he's giving you a little effort. He's giving you no effort. He's, he's like, got his foot over the line of I quit. Mm-hmm. He, but he, he ain't put it down yet, Skip, but he's up in the air and he's over there. Agreed. He's just waiting to put it down. Yep. And it's a, it's a shame because I believe, Skip, no matter what you do, you should give your best effort. And if you don't want and I get it, he doesn't want to be there. But right now, they're going to have to. They're, they're not, Skip, I, you know, I've been in the front like, no, I wouldn't do it, I wouldn't do it. But after watching James Harden these last two games, yep. Ain't no way he can stay on this roster the okay, whole year. Okay, I think you just talked yourself into, <laughs> yeah. yes, I would take the best deal on the table. But, Skip, the, Skip you know what the best deal is going to be. It's going to be some sneakers, jog strap, and some Gatorade. I don't think it's that bad. Skip, you not. But those extra draft picks, <laughs> they've gone away. They've gone away. Yeah. Skip, if, when you think about what they gave up, the Rockets gave up to get Chris Paul in the swap for Russ. And you think about what the Lakers gave up to get AD. Are you is someone trying to tell me James Harden is a comparable as far as skill set as those guys? Now, mm-hmm. I believe AD is a better all-around player than James Harden. But it's hard for me to find if James Harden is motivated, a better offensive player than all the basketball. And I'm talking about Kevin Durant, LeBron, Steph. You name the offensive player. When that guy's motivated to play, can't nobody see it. He revolutionized the game. But right now, Skip, he's uninterested in playing. Yep. And if John Wall said, bro, after nine, after nine games, you ready to jump off the bridge? He said, no, mm-hmm. I was ready to jump off the bridge before the first game. Yep. He was uninterested. Okay. And so, Skip, they're going to have to do – they got to do something sooner rather than later. Skip, I like maybe the all-star game they might be – I don't mm-hmm. think it's going to make it till then. Okay. <laughs> So, in a few minutes on this show, we're going to talk about another Houston superstar Mm -hmm. named Deshaun Watson, but he plays in this other league called the National Football Football League. League. And it's very different on that side of the fence versus this side of the fence because on your side of the (laughs) fence, you being in the NFL Hall of Fame, (laughs) the players do, do not run the show. No. In the NBA, the players dictate. Yes. They are in control and in command. Right. And I believe James Harden has just seized command of his situation. And he finally made his first public declaration of, what was the last line? It's something that I don't think can be fixed. Boom. That's it. So he said, get me out of here now. Now. 
and his play last night, I agree with you, that game was over in about a minute <laughs> because you could just see he didn't want to be playing out there. And he rubbed off on everybody else. He did. The body language of the Rockets as a team was abominable. It was an embarrassment for the National Basketball Association. And your team rolled as it should have rolled, but it was hard not to roll against a team that was not competitive. And that Rockets team is much better than it played because, to your point, I, I like Christian Wood. He had 18-8 and eight last right. night. I still am a fan of DeMarcus Cousins. They're trying to let him play his way back into shape. Right. I'm a fan of John Wall. I, 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 hey, I look at this team, and I still see Eric Gordon, and yes. I see P.J., and I see McLemore, and I can go down the, the list. This is a team that can't win the West, but could could be the four seed. It yes. could be in the middle of the Western Conference playoff picture and could win a round of the playoffs. So my point is this. Is, is James Harden not the shrewdest operator we've ever seen from the perimeter? Is there anybody more wily, more sly from the perimeter than no. James Harden? Who, who can get to the free throw line and, and get three free throws better than anybody <laughs> in the history of basketball? It's this guy. He, he can get free throws, Skip. Nobody's led the league in free, in free no. throws attempted and made like James Harden over the last okay. five years okay. in the history. So I believe he just pulled off a genius plot to play his way or eat his way out of Houston. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he's eating his way out also. You see him in the warm-up line? Uh, he like he came straight from the Dennis Buffet. Hey, seriously, he's got a <laughs> gut. I mean, he's got a flat-out gut. James Harden had okay. an all-you-can-eat grand slam like four or okay. five times all yesterday. Right, so I'm going to remind everybody what you went through. He came out and he wanted to even fat. He wanted to validate his value for his trade partners. So what did he do in the first game? We came in on Monday and raved about it because I believe it was a Saturday night it at was. Portland yep. and it went to overtime. Yep. And as you point out, he scored 44 points in that game. I thought it was about as great as I've ever seen him play. And he also had, as you said, 17 assists. And it went to the buzzer and they lost by two to Portland right. because C.J. McCollum just went off. Right. Okay. So we sat back and said, wow. That was spectacular. That was special. Maybe these Rockets, maybe he's going to be happy with yes, the Rockets, yes, right? Yes, yes, And then he comes back at Denver the next game and scores 34. And then at home against Sacramento, he scored 33. Mm -hmm. And then he decided to take the back. It wasn't exactly back-to-back. -back. They had a night in between, but they had to play Sacramento again. Right. And he said, I'm, 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 I'm done. I'm, uh, I'm not going to play that game. <laughs> and here we went. Right. With almost quit James Harden, and I agree with you, he put his sneaker across <laughs> the line, and he hasn't quite touched it down, but it's as close to quitting as you can get without right. quitting. So here's what he's averaged over his last five games. This is James freaking Harden Correct. we're talking about. He's averaged 17 points, 17 points, five rebounds. He has averaged 10 assists, so you got to give him that because he's still, but it's, it's all like I don't care assists where you do it. You do yeah. it, you do it. But, Skip, we've seen him average 29 and 10 assists, 29 mm. and 11 assists. No, so definitely. we know he can facilitate the ball, but the scoring is where he hurts okay. you. So over the last five games, he is shooting 38% from the floor. It's horrendously bad. Yes. He's shooting 26% from three. Horrendous. That's 10 of 39. Ah. Really? He's averaging five free throws a game. He, he averages 10 for his career. Okay, so for a career. He, okay, so he's not even trying to get to the free throw no. line. They're just happening by accident that he shoots five a game. Quit, 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 almost quit, right? So he's saying, I'm done, Houston. You, you, you're you going to have to move me. Because you know what happened, Skip? He came back and he did those stat lines, like you said, in the first three games. He's like, hold on. I'm playing too hard. They're going to think I want to be here. Yeah. Let me back this thing up to okay, let y'all know. But he did need to show them I'm, I can still right, do right. this because if you didn't do the first couple of games, right. people might be saying, wait a second, right. have you lost it completely? So he validated value. I can still do this even fast. Yes. Okay. So you, you come get me and I'll show you spectacular. Right. Okay. So now what do we know? Well, there are obviously two potential trade destinations at the top of the priority list. He's, he's listed other teams. But obviously, it's Nets and it's Sixers, okay? So the Nets, we're, we're about to talk about the Kyrie issue. So they got an issue with Kyrie Irving. Would, would I, they I even, no longer want Kyrie. Okay. Give me Jared Allen, give me Karis LeVert. Okay, but, but would Houston consider straight up Kyrie for James Hell Harden? Hell no. 
I don't know. I think they would at this point. Skip, I don't want that. Okay. Why am I going to get, Skip, why am I going to get rid of a headache for a toothache? Okay, because the, the <laughs> problem with that would be, obviously, Kyrie loves Kevin Durant like a brother. They are brothers. And if you, he hasn't, he, he let me say, he doesn't have a no trade line. They could do that. If they yes. were just sick and tired already of Kyrie and say, we can't trust him going forward, they could do that. They could ship him out. Yeah, but Would Skip, he ever be happy in Houston? I'm going to say a big no to that. But if you look at the Rockets, Skip, I'm, I'm getting rid of a problem to take on another okay. problem. All right. I got it. But you're, you're also going superstar for superstar offensive talent. How about this, Skip? I take Jared Allen. I take Karis LeVert. I'll take, uh, I don't really know who else, maybe Joe Harris and two first-rounders. You can have James Harden. Okay, would those guys ever measure up to what James no. Harden has done for you? No, but they'll measure up to what he's doing right now for me. Okay, now, if I'm the Nets, what I've seen already of my team, the depth and the firepower down the bench because they've been winning some games. They won last night with just Kevin Durant being the best player on the planet. Right. But that team is so deep and powerful to me, I'm not going to break it up for James Harden. I like what I, uh, I have. I, I as would, long as I figure Kyrie's going to what? figure it out and come back. What, 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 what are we going to figure? We're going to talk I about don't know. what? I exactly. don't know what he's trying to figure out. But as long as he comes back and plays maybe two-thirds of the season, I'm still good. Okay, let's look at the Sixers. His GM, who pledged allegiance to him as he walked out the door, Daryl Morey, left an ad in the Houston Chronicle saying, you changed my life, James Harden, which yeah. he did. Yes, he put him on the map. Okay, so Daryl Morey is now running the Sixers. Correct. Would would he do Ben Simmons straight up? Would Houston take Ben Simmons right now? Again, I like Ben Simmons. I like Ben Simmons, Skip, but I, I, if I'm the Houston Rockets, I don't want just Ben Simmons straight up for James Harden. Okay, what else? Do, what, what would be fair? I want Ben Simmons, I want Tobias Harris, and I want two first-round picks. They unprotected might, picks. Okay, they might do the picks, but again, I'm more of a Ben Simmons fan than you are. What's the average now? 13, 9, and 8, I believe it is. Yeah, 13, 9, and 8, and he's 24 years of age. I still think he plays great off Joel Embiid. He fouled out last night, but they he's shorthanded. A he's they, a tremendous defensive player. He, he can is. rebound. He can assist the ball. I, I he's just, not the scoring threat that you would you like. You would think that he would be at six foot ten. Obviously, he's shooting sixty percent from the free throw line right now, which I don't love. And he's made one three out of two attempts. So at least he tried. Well, made he's one. made one in his probably career. He yeah. probably got two of the made in his whole career. Okay. All right. I'm still going to take their chemistry, stability, and future over James Harden. Yeah. I would not do it. But I, and that's what I don't get, Skip. I don't see the continuity that I see from Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons mm -hmm. and James Harden and Joel Embiid. I, I'm, am I missing something? I don't see how they work together. James Harden has really never played with a big. Especially a big that's going to command the ball. He's always played with bigs that, hey, just get the rebound and pass it to James Harden. Ben Simmons is going to, I mean, not Ben Simmons, Joel Embiid is going to want the ball. Plus, he wants it down low yes. in the lane, which is in your driving lane. Yes. Okay. I wouldn't do it. So, where do you go with James Harden? I don't know. He, he, he put Miami on the list. So, yeah. you go going to uh, uh, Duncan Robinson, Tyler Hero. Who else are they going to want? Maybe none and a, and a couple of draft picks? Well, they probably want Bam to start with, but I, I wouldn't do it. Man, get out of here. I bammed him over the head. They told me to get want Bam for James. No. James, uh, Bam is the, the anchor of the D. He rebounds. He plays defense. He uh, 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 scores the basketball. I'm not giving up Bam for no James Hart. That, mm -hmm. that defeats the purpose. Yep. So I don't know if you try to trade James to, I'm just throwing this out, the Timberwolves, if he would accept that and be happy in Minnesota. Well, who are you going to get, Carl Anthony Towns? Well, I'm, I'm just saying, <laughs> yeah, that, that's, if, if somebody wanted to just do it for box office, like, we got James Hart. We're, we're some small market team, and we got James Harden. We can sell this. Minnesota's not going to do that. Minnesota, they, they'd be terrible. That, they, would, they would basically be uh, uh, the Rockets, the Houston of the Midwest okay. because they'd just be small because you got no size. Skip okay. and you, they got right, Edwards, I'm, and they I'm got... just throwing teams out. Like the Bulls <laughs> are not very good right now, right. but they got Zach Levine, right. who is – he's got star power yeah. to him. Would you take Zach Levine and try to build around him with draft choices? Skip, if you're telling me if James Harden were to apply himself and, and, and say like in a week or two weeks, the starting lineup is James Harden, John Wall, Kristen Wood, Boogie Cousins, I totally PJ agree. Tucker. I thought that's what was going to happen. Huh? It's pretty good. Yes. Yes, I agree. I mean, James may find that right under his nose is still his best opportunity. But Skip, he's...
he just he just wants out. I just don't know. I mean, James Hardy's is just an eating himself, and he just doesn't care. I, I skip. I get it. This is what you you got to commend guys like LeBron. LeBron says, "I'm gonna play my contract. I play my tail off. He Boom, does. I'm down, bouncing. Yep, I agree. Kevin Durant played his butt off, even though Skip AD wanted out. AD was still giving you 26 and 11. Yeah, with two I, I do think, but he was a little pouty, and I'm oh, not sure his heart was in it. The, la the last week is really when it, you know when he put it, and I didn't agree with him wearing the shirt. That's all, folks. Yep. Mm -hmm. But AD was playing his was playing his butt off. Yep. So I'm going to remind everybody. But that, remember, Skill, yeah. now that was the Pelicans that Pelican. deactivated him. Mm -hmm. He didn't deactivate himself. He was giving it to him. Yeah, okay. He was a much younger player at that point. than J James is 31 years yes. of age. So he's starting to enter the, the backside right. of what he's going to be worth. Because I'm, I'm going to say, just like Russell uh, Westbrook that we've seen, starts to hit the wall because he's t he's a high contact. James has taken a lot of contact. A lot of contact. A lot of times picking himself mm -hmm. up off the floor. Uh, you, but here's the problem that James ran into. You wanted that long-term security, so you signed that extension yep. that tied you to the Rockets for two more years after this season. Now when you want out, it's different than AD. AD only had one summer. If you had one summer, Kyrie had one summer, you would get that. But when you got two whole, you know, two whole years, yep. they kind of got you by the bag. But the way he's come in, the shape, the conditioning in which he's come in, and the way he's playing currently, Skip, I don't think that I think their hands are tied. Mm. I think they have no choice but to move him. And you, I guess you're basically like, like, like you said, I guess I'm gonna have to get what I can get. Yep. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.